Welcome to another week of John and Daniel vlogs. It's a bit late this morning. It's night. Oh, it's still this morning. I thought it was later than that. And as you can see, I am preparing your vlog. Fleur is there. She's masturbating at work. And Daniel's doing exactly the same. Because this is what we do in London. Get with it. Genius. Something wrong with this picture. Do you know what it is? I'm actually not laid in bed. Horizontal. Watching some crap or something what I enjoy. I'm in here watching The Nun on Netflix, so I'm eating chorizo. And Daniel must be really tired, so he's gone in there, in the other room. So I, I was like peckish, and I thought, oh, I want sugar, I want sugar. And the problem is, I can't have it. So I'm defrosting <laughs> in a bowl of water, some prawns and some scallops. And then I thought, oh, I want to eat now, I want to eat now. I don't know why I want, why do I want sugar now. I might actually cook that cauliflower cheese. <laughs> Thank God for that, he actually got up. So I'm eating some scallops and a little salad and some, oh, cauliflower cheese. Um, he got, so I got up and then like now I can get in my bed. <laughs> and so he's straight away and he said, I thought you'd have done a me and done the pots. I'm like, no, but I did clean up a little bit, not too much. I usually don't sleep in afternoon, but this, what are we doing now? It's very draining for me because I have lots of things to do and phone calls to make and you know, crap like that. But I woke up two hours later and I was hearing somebody in the kitchen. I thought, oh, he's cleaning the kitchen. Obviously not. <laughs> he was just doing some food and then left everything like that. Now he's ill and he needs to be in bed. So I have to do the kitchen. Oh, you look so sexy, John. <laughs> yeah, baby. I, I hope I can see the bottom bit. Well, it's not too bad. Look, it's not too bad. Look, there you go. It's the but you hide, you hide, I'm hiding my fat underneath the towel so you can't really see it. Um, this week, it's Thursday night. Th Friday, <laughs> Friday tomorrow. So for us this week, I know it for you because this is the first day. But this week for us has gone so quickly um, to the day that we decide, or oh, just say, the human community has decided that Saturday and Sunday should be deemed fit for a day of rest and relaxation for the people who work office hours. Buy sex toys. What? Well, people don't want sex on Saturdays and Sundays, so that's why we're closed. <laughs> sex toys? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, look, while Daniel's rolling his tobacco, I am going to go in the other room and just chill. And I'm, I'm not really, I'm just going to like lay down and listen to... I'm gonna listen to my Harry Potter audiobook again. I don't know why I do it. I just, you know, the thing is, it's, um... John, listen to The Magician. Oh. It's three, three books, very good. What's it's The Magic. Oh. Magic. <laughs> good night. <laughs> I asked Flo and Daniel if they thought that this week had gone quick or if it had gone slow, and they said it's gone quick, so I thought it did yes as well. But this week we've been working like Albanians. It's ridiculous. So every single day, non stop. What, what, what are you talking about, John? No. What's the next question? I didn't know about Albanian working. It's an expression. It's like, because weren't, weren't they just used for workers? Is that all they good for? Just to do. Daniel. <laughs> I'm just gonna be boring because you can see me. This garden is absolutely disgusting. It's full of crap and it's got the weeds coming up and it keeps, um, because the sun's not really coming out, we're not going out to do the garden, but we want like a warm afternoon. Hopefully over the weekend, it'll be nice and we can do it. But if it's not, I'm not gonna do it. I really need to spend a few hours, hours out here, like with Daniel, for maybe, I don't know, three hours, fix the fence, clean the stones, clean everything, make it look beautiful. <sighs> I'm just gonna hide from Jack to see that if she can find it, what she does. Five minutes later. Where were you going? <laughs> Where were you going? <laughs> Where were you going? <laughs> Where were you doing? Where were you going without me? <laughs> I think she really shut herself. <laughs> she just, <laughs> I think she was going home. Leave it, leave it. I think she was going home. This way I had to call her. I got a bit like puppy loneliness. 
So I went downstairs to go to see Dalma and Olaf for five minutes. And left Daniel here by himself. Because he said he was going to come in. And I knew he wouldn't because he was like, stay up here, try and get as much time away from here as possible. Is it working in an environment like this when you're so close to each other? It makes you want to kill each other. I'm a bit worried. We we paid £275 for this studio and um, this is for a photo shoot. This is on Saturday, so this is like a week today. And we've only got one confirmation. Basically, we're giving some girls who were advertised on one of our websites um, a photo shoot for £50. But we need to make sure we cover the cost because we're going to represent these girls. Um, anyway, um, we haven't got them. Anyway, I don't want to think about it. You know what I mean? It's Friday night now and I've just got to relax and chill out. And then Daniel said that he's going to give some of the girls a call tomorrow and then just get it in. It's going to be a long day, but you know, there's one girl barked, but then I'm thinking, I'm not, I just couldn't think about it. What? Just, what? <laughs> what do you say when somebody just really fucking irritates you? Ow! What, do what, I want to prod you as well? What are they called? Annoying. <laughs> Because he's saying, I just put cream on my face. It doesn't matter. Everybody puts cream on the face, I think. Well, most people do anyway. Men and women, apparently. I was speaking to somebody earlier today, a friend of, uh, well, actually one of the neighbours, and he does a facial routine. He's in his, he's in his 30s. you got to look after your skin. Skin's important. We all have it. <laughs> I've got to go to bed. I'm so tired. I can't even think. Good night. I just need summer to come round. I'm here, I've been laying in the bath since seven o'clock. It's now gone eight o'clock. It's like half past eight. Laying in a lukewarm bath, watching videos, thinking it needs to be sunny outside. I want to get outside. I want to get outside. And last night I went to bed so early because I thought, you know, I can get up early. It'd be nice in the morning and I can get out of the garden and do some stuff. But no, the weather's decided otherwise. The weather said, I'm not going to be quite this one for you, Judah. I'm going to stay quite dim. Oh, God. Morning, John. Morning. Why are you back in bed again or back on the sofa? I'm joking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay here all day. I thought you were gonna see Greg. Yeah, two o'clock. <laughs> I thought you were gonna clean the garden. It's not sunny. You knew that, so why, why are you saying that? Okay. I did want it to be a nice day to do it. You know, it's my day off. At least we enjoy the day outside. Otherwise, I will enjoy the day inside in my pit. I've been laid in bed. I've just been laid in bed. I'm trying to find, I think I've just found a movie to watch on Prime called Alone in the Dark. That's my morning routine when I clean myself. I just called Jack to do, to have the shower. Today, I was the one who was supposed to enjoy a day off and a day that I do nothing. Bedroom on. What time is it, John? 10 o'clock in the morning. No, it's 1.30. No, it's not. I was actually really hungry, but I just don't want to get up and eat anything. <laughs> it's really lazy. Lazy, lazy day today. I'm like, I couldn't be bothered to do anything now. Is that such a bad thing? I don't even want that cheese. I'll eat this bacon. I don't even know where I got it from. I think the neighbour gave it to him. Because I saw it. You don't need to buy it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't do anything with it. I did ask Lloyd um, yesterday. I said, can you please cook? Yeah. I, was, I just said it as much as possible. It was like, John, I cannot cut your hair. I have to study because I am going to be more intelligent. I was like, what about me, bitch? 
What about my hair? Anyway, she's going to do it on Thursday. So she has a Mac arriving at her place. So she wants to be able to set it up. So it means, because next week's really important. I, oh my God, that photo shoot. I can't get it out of my head. So that photo shoot, we haven't actually got the girls lined up. So Daniel's going to try and get it done on Monday. You know, try and start on Monday, getting all the models in. Um, hopefully that will go okay. Um, otherwise, I've just wasted 275 pounds, which I'm not happy about. What can you do? You know, just got to try. I mean, I'm doing these girls a photo shoot for 50 quid. You know, it's nothing, nothing at all. And then we're going on holiday. That's we're going on holiday. That's me and Sarah on the 12th. So it works out like this. So on Thursday, get my hair cut. On Saturday, do the photo shoot. And then on Monday, go to the caravan. Now that sounds like an exciting week. Morning, Jack. I think Jack's gonna stay out with Olaf today, or maybe just stay around at the place because Daniel's gonna come with Daniel and my, Daniel, Dalma, and myself to Aldi because he keeps saying, don't buy that, buy this and borrow the food. So I was like, okay, fine, you come with. So he's going to, but he's gone back to bed. Do you mind, Jack? Thank you. Get out of the way. Ah, yes. John? Yeah? Are you ready? Almost. Morning, Dan. Good morning. Oh, look at you. Ah, getting ready to go to Aldi. Yes. <laughs> Have you seen the new addition to the car going to Aldi? Because I say I'm so bored, I want to get entertained. That's actually not true. He needs to buy some stuff, not too much stuff, but some stuff which he wants. It's a complaint. He didn't get that. He didn't get this. He missed onions, olive oil, no, but washing onions. up liquid, shampoo. Oh, okay, I missed those. He, he missed all of them. Yeah, but that's what you're here for. You're here to help me out. Well, guess what? The shop is closed for Easter and we are here for shopping. Well, we, we haven't done anything. And John's job, the only job he has is to, to check the dates and times. But I didn't know. I mean, I didn't even think about it. Yeah. Exactly. He's very disappointed. John, I'm really sorry. Ooh. Oh, careful, John. Shit, I had you come right away. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I've heard this guy that uh, he, he walks his parrots around Fulham, but i never seen him. And I just saw him on the road. I'm going to tackle the garden. I mean, the fence is absolutely destroyed at the bottom. The post has come out, but this isn't our garden. But I'm going to try and fix it. I don't know if we can do it. Daniel just found a piece of wood in the shed. What do you reckon, Daniel? I think it's a waste of time. That's his answer to everything. It's not a waste of time. We try. That will do. What? No. No? Look how brave Dalma is. She's going to go and dig up something because she thinks somebody's buried something. <gasps> no. They have. Listen. I just uh, do this one, you know, like two days ago, so it's just somebody good. <laughs> 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 I didn't see it, but Daniel said apparently they found a dead fox, a baby fox, and I think that's what they've done. So they've popped into the garden, and because Dalma's <sighs> just, I can smell it as well. Yeah, smell it. <laughs> It's a little puppy. Oh my God. It's not a puppy, it's a fox. Are you sure? Yes. He looks better, you know. I mean, look, I, I've got to keep coming out and then doing little bits, but the most important thing that fence is all the way back. So we've just pinned it. And as you guys know, I, I don't know. If you haven't seen, we talked about the garden before, it's not my garden. Actually, the garden belongs to the lady who lives there. Um, her name's Colette, but she's quite old. Hang on, just clean my lens. <laughs> and she de definitely can't do it. So a, a few years ago, I completely stripped out the garden and I made it, you know, like a nice, um, I don't know, layout. So it was kind of easy to put a few things in the corner, a few things in the middle, a few things over in that rockery. Um, we've neglected it for a couple of years, plants-wise, but at least it serves as a big shit taller than the dog. <laughs> and, really, and that's all it does, really. And that's, that's fake grass, obviously. Don't get it. This one there. 
Go and get it. <laughs> it's like a deja vu coming back here, but this spot is, is never has any people, so it's always free. And Greg likes the shade, he doesn't <laughs> like the sun. Shade is always good. <laughs> shady. He's a shady. <laughs> Say happy Easter to Matt. Mm -mm. Happy Easter, Matt. <laughs> Jack. You gonna come out? Come on. Let's go home. Come on. I think this is my favorite place in the world. And I know it's a bloody cemetery, mm. but it's so <laughs> relaxing. And Greg is drunk. Mm. I am not. Yes. <laughs> I was absolutely blight my hair was filthy and covered in muck because that's fake grass i shook it i got it everywhere in my eyes in my mouth in my bum hole you name it sarah asked me to go over to Al um, alexandra palace to go and see her but i was too tired so it's like I'm, I'm actually i'm actually cold i don't know where it's from going being out in the sun to coming back inside but i'm i've got the heat blanket over me and I've got a bit of a headache. I don't know. I'm just, what is wrong with me? And my leg, my leg is really hurting, but that happens all the time. That's just, just got to get. I'm really worried. I might need a knee replacement. It's so bad. It aches all the time. I mean, I mean, pain constantly with it. I'm sure this, I really want to see the MRI. I can't believe I missed my appointment. What a dickhead. Anyway, Daniel's out. So he's out with a dog. And I'm just going to... Stay here watching some crappy YouTube videos, I think. Alexa, bedroom off. Alexa, bedroom off. In hindsight, we should have taken Bank Holiday Monday off. It's a nice day, and today it's been a little bit stressy. I think Daniel's stressed, I'm a bit stressed. I don't like Fleur, I think Fleur's just keeping her head down. Are you keeping your head down? Yeah. Yeah, she's keeping her head down, because I just had a go at Daniel earlier. And, oh, anyway, it's all right. Things will get better. I've just been sitting in the garden, having a bit of a, bit of a break. We've only got like an hour or so before we finish, but today's been a, not a good day. You know, but you get them. Of course you do. I'm so fucking boring, aren't I? <laughs> not been such a good day today, but you do get them, don't you? Shut up, John, you dickhead. Well, it's gone. It's gone for a walk. I'm talking about Daniel. The house, get a bit of fresh air away from each other because we were really doing each other's head in today. Sorry, I'm just like you know, I'm, I'm actually on the chopping board here, and that's pork scratchings. I cooked some pig skin with pork, but then the pork for each side. Um, so none of the skin browned or was crackly like this. So I had to take the skin off and then bake it again in the oven. And it tastes like shit, because then you put so much salt. It's disgusting, I see. So much salt on it. Why? You don't need that much salt. Excuse me. <laughs> yes, this is It's my rod. Well, well, guess what? I found another coffee machine. So this is <laughs> the fourth one that I find outside. Oh. Perfect. Daniel just went for another walk. I don't get it. What? I don't, you just like... You heat it and then I know, you I know what you... Yeah, you fill this with water. Yeah. And then you have this bowl here and you heat the bowl. Yeah, I think that's quite self-explanatory. But why is it in the house? That's my question. Well, because I'm not drinking, so I'm gonna annoy the shit out of me. Wait, 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 wait. You need some, some more pan in here, I think. We get, we get a new one. That... See, the thing is, I don't need that. I just use Daniel's big head. 
How not to box? I can't box. How not to box? <laughs> you, you lost your dress, you're scared. Come on, do it again. I can't, man. It's getting, it's getting to come down. Benny. It's late, it's like half past ten, and Daniel's still in there. He actually blew that ball up, which is good. I don't know if he's going to use it, hopefully he will. He stopped drinking, so if he stops drinking for a couple of weeks and uses that, he's not going to, I don't even know why I'm saying it, he's not going to, he's going to continue, and he's not, that will, thing will end up being downstairs in the shed in about two days' time. I guarantee it. Good night. The guy who's supposed to be fitting the tow bar, I sent him a message yesterday, so because it wasn't very well, so you're gonna come and fit the tow bar this week because so I've got to take the car and find on Saturday in a message and nothing yet. So now I'm panicking in the morning, this is Tuesday, to try and get a tow bar fitted. Um, you know, it looks it's so annoying. If I can't get the tow bar fitted before, well, if I can't get somebody else to get it done, that means I don't have to travel if there's a space. But the thing is, there's a difference of like, well, what I see now, 300 pounds so i've already agreed on this price and then an extra 300 pounds if i take it to another place where i've just got a quote from so annoying oh i only got a few days to get it done mm. so uh is it is a bigger dildo than two kilograms because you can't do free shipping on two kilogram dildo i don't know let's fleur yeah are there any dildos bigger than two kilograms yeah all right is there is the one uh well, it's the one, oh. uh, the flashlight thing, you know? The huge what thing. Is the one that What's you it? sit on it? It's like seven kilos or something. Uh, seven kilos, and it costs 600 pounds. It's seven. 700. Huh? 700. Yeah. It's pure meat. Yeah. That sounds that. scary. Anyway. Well. <laughs> John, I know how much you can take, yeah, so shut you. up. Oh! <laughs> Put your goose, goose, come back. You need reflexes. Yeah, reflexes. It is more focused. Uh, it is more focused than it is. It is. It is. It is. Just been bank holiday. I don't mm -hmm. think anybody has been working, so they're gonna have to do extra job tomorrow just to get rid of all this rubbish. What do you seriously consider a heavy movie? I just watched The Green Mile. And this is ridiculous now, with Tom Hanks and Michael Duncan, and you know I remember watching it once before and. I was, it really got me, I don't know what, I know it's a drama and it's like make believe and that, but I don't know, it's, like, it's one of those films where I run, wanted to watch again because I know that I enjoyed it, it was like very, very heavy for me. Why is that? I mean, do, do films like that affect everybody the same? I'm sure they don't. I'm sure that some people think they're a lot of crap. Uh, I don't know, certain films took on your heartstrings and all that kind of stuff. <sighs> That's probably why I'm a big old puff. Good night. Morning, Sunny. Morning. Morning, Sunny. I took the picture um, what uh, you took the first day when we took him home. Yeah. Oh my God, he's double size of him. <laughs> <laughs> Little puffball. Be good boy. Apart from me chewing. This is the routine nearly every morning. Like Dama brings um, Sonny out, and I think that's a good thing because he gets him completely used to Jack. She works in the morning, so we do it about the same time. Ooh. And my tow bar is getting fitted today, man. That means we are definitely off to the caravan. I put on the on the notes. I put all the prices for Europe, for Africa, for America, for all of them. So if you if you're not sure what's the price, you just go to the notes and then check the prices. Okay. Okay.
the fridge is running out of food because John is so lazy to come He's and Why? to come and drive us to go to Aldi. So now we have to eat fish and I hate fish. But that is looking fantastic. And we're gonna have some asparagus. Yum, yum. Asparagus, cheese, cream sauce, and fish. Mm. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, Daniel. Would Thank you eat on the table? Would I? No. Would you? No, I'll eat here. Yeah. Sorry, I'm going to enjoy it, but there you go. Okay. Now that's not funny. You have to count it, count it again. Idiot. That's for my toe ball. The guy's downstairs. I need to age it. I hate count. I'm not being for counting, Daniel. You need something. Look at me. You look like a crazy man. Sorry, I just have you to. You need there. to stop working. Seriously. I will do in a minute. I will do. I promise. Well, guess who is cooking again? Because I have nobody to cook for me. Whatever. When did you cook for me last? When did you cook for when you clean the kitchen last? Oh, when Every you get, when did you keep clean the kitchen last? <clears throat> mm -hmm. This is every day. The mess they will create in this house is unbelievable. I had a really hard day at work today. And Daniel's doing the pots. He's too set every night, I don't know. He's so good, I can't really complain. And he keeps making this milk stuff. I don't know why he makes it every day. Mind you, he drinks so much of it. He's still fat. Look guys, I am tired. I've had a rough day. And Daniel's been doing my head in all day. He hasn't, he's been like, you've been okay, I'm lying. Just in case he starts going crazy at me. And I've got to say thank you so much for watching this vlog right until this point because that means you've either skipped through to the end. They've skipped to the end. I've probably skipped through. I would. <laughs> or you've watched the whole thing. But either way, thank you for getting to this point. And we're going to go. But we will see you next week on Thursday at 6.30. That means tomorrow morning. No, it doesn't. Well, tomorrow morning for us. But next week for you. Take care.